Hello everyone, my name is Kitetsu and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I want to try something a little bit different and you have to forgive me because I recorded the video outside and all of these tractors kept driving past so I'm having to now basically dub over the video that I initially recorded. So if anything's a little bit out of sync or a bit weird in that sense that's why. But yeah basically as I said I'm trying something different. If you are watching this the day it came out then right now I am in Germany and because of the fact I can't cover any of the latest news whilst I'm abroad because the internet will probably be absolutely terrible I thought I'd try something different and seeing as quite a lot of you often ask me what I'm working on and what I'm doing and what my projects are within the hobby at the moment I thought I would give you a little bit of an update and yeah it just gives me that opportunity to kind of connect with you guys and talk a little bit more. I've been trying a lot of different things on my channel recently and some of that has been working really really well and some of it I've been getting some really good constructive criticism from you guys like for example when I brought out my Shade Spire video some of you said we don't need the two minutes of you talking about yourself at the beginning put that in a separate video and you know what I completely agree I don't need to clutter up my news videos with stuff about myself so yeah this video here is basically an opportunity for me to just talk about myself and what's going on with all of my uh, hobby interests. I guess the uh, main thing to say at the moment in terms of me and the hobby is that I hardly get any time to really sit down and enjoy the hobby anywhere near as much as I would want to and partly that's because I'm making these videos, partly that's because I've got a full time job and also because I'm doing a chemistry course because I'm going to do chemistry teaching. But yeah this here is my new toy which is my airbrush and I absolutely love this thing. I was painting Stormcast and I got to the point where I was fed up of painting block colours. Like if you look at the bottom there that was actually done with the Retributor armour spray. And the spray is a completely different colour to the pot of paint that you get. And it really bugged me because I'd end up spraying them and then I'd have to go back by hand and repaint them with the actual proper shade of gold. To be honest, by the time you put the shade on, maybe I wouldn't notice, but because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist in that sense, it was bothering me nonetheless. Because I don't have much time as it is, I thought if I get an airbrush then I can much more rapidly kind of block paint and I've got a lot more control over how I do that. It's all about managing time but then I found out that this particular pot here doesn't have an air paint and if none of you have ever airbrushed before you might have noticed in Games Workshops you've got two pots of nearly every colour. In fact I don't even know how many they make but this one on the left here is the air version. So it's like a slightly pre-thinned version of the normal paint. And because they don't do the Retributor Armour one, I've bought a Vallejo one, which is actually a little bit brighter, but some people have told me it's more or less indistinguishable by the time you've painted it and shaded it. So yeah, I just thought I'd give that a go. And it's, to be honest, it's more of a time-saving thing for me. Like, I'm perfectly happy to sit there painting very thin shades of gold for hours on end, but I just don't have those hours to do it. But yeah, the other thing I mentioned a while back was that I was going to plan and maybe consider doing a sort of side project on Orcs. I haven't been into 40k in a long time and I thought, Do you know what, let's just go for it. I looked at the Orc models, I absolutely love them. I mean, look at that Death Dread, it looks absolutely incredible. And I just thought, yeah, this box seems like a very good place to start the collection. I've already been building them. These are the Orc boys I've glued together. They look pretty damn cool. But I'll probably talk a little bit more in a minute about my troubled past with 40k because there's been moments where I've been really put off by 40k and I'm kind of surprised I've re-embraced it so much so soon. I haven't had much time to paint any of these yet. I'll show you uh, some of my attempts at painting them in a minute. But the other thing I thought was really funny is considering these are orcs and they're like xenos and they're meant to be massive, I was comparing one to a Primaris Marine and I couldn't actually believe 
how small it looked compared to him is quite funny because they're actually a really old kit and considering how old they are they still look incredible but they're just absolutely tiny next to the Primaris and I'm pretty sure an orc is actually meant to be quite huge maybe when the orcs drop in a couple of months they're going to release some slightly larger scale models I'm not really sure but yeah like I said I embraced the orcs in spectacular fashion because I bought the start collecting box I then went ahead and bought one of these orc mech guns which I'll show you in a minute that looks really cool I absolutely love it a bit overpriced what it is but the orc flash kits I bought a box of those because who doesn't love pirates and orcs mixed together I got some of these burner boys which look pretty cool I'm gonna build them as the burners not the looters because I think they look a bit cooler even though they're not very good I got myself some Gretchen here's some of my little Gretchen from the uh, big mech gun and I absolutely love them the character of these things is hilarious but yep yeah, got some killer cans obviously if I've got Gretchen I need killer cans here's the uh, death dread that I've started gluing together this is what tends to happen I run out of time Time to do my project so I kind of half assemble loads of stuff then I have to go back to them in a few months the Gorkonaut was the first thing I bought and I started this months ago but I absolutely love this model it's completely bonkers and it perfectly encapsulates everything to do with orcs but to be honest I was having a lot of difficulty working with the shade of yellow and it's a very watery thing. I actually started off base coating it with that Avalanche Sunset, but it's very watery. Like, I thin it slightly. I actually found that the layer version worked a little bit better than the air version in this case, but I don't know if you can actually see in the video you can see it down here at the back but you just don't get a very good thick coverage i ended up putting so many layers on it that it's taken me hours to kind of start covering it up and it still looks very patchy so what i'm thinking now is i'm gonna kind of finish it off with the airbrush and hopefully that will help me kind of get a nice consistent coverage of yellow across the model like i said just a model like this is a whole project for me and it takes me a long time to glue together and assemble and paint especially when you've got to glue it in subsections like I did with this one. I almost wish I had something a little bit more exciting to show you on this front because like I said it's very much a work in progress and it's probably going to take me months to finish that. Here's my big mech gun and it's a really cool model. I actually didn't glue the wheels on yet because otherwise when I spray it I'm not going to be able to get under the wheel arch and it perfectly again encapsulates that idea of orcs just kind of scrabbling together whatever they can. This is my great unclean one which again I bought months and months ago and I started painting it and it started out looking horrendous and I ended up having to re-base coat it and start again from scratch because it was going so horribly. I was really worried I'd cover up all the detail but fortunately it turned out okay. But again, I've still got hours to go until it's finished. This is what I mean about having like a project where I start it and then spend months and months on it. But yeah, I'll get round to finishing them all at some point, I hope. It's just a case of having the time to do so. But yeah, at the moment with the new second edition coming out, I thought I'd get some Liberators and I wanted some with the Grand Hammers there. Whereas all the ones you get in the starter box basically have none of the special weapons. So that's the first box I've actually bought where you can assemble them in any way you want. These ones here are actually from the starter set and I believe I've actually shown these on my channel before quite a long time ago. But yeah, I literally just wanted to return to Stormcast. I think it's something to do with this second edition. I was actually approached by another channel and they really wanted me to make some lore videos for them. So that's been making me reread all of the stuff about the Stormcast and yeah, it's making me really want to talk about them again. Uh, these I actually went out and bought today. I'm Because I'm going on holiday, I thought it'd be nice to take some books with me to read. And I found these two in the shop and they were really cheap and they've got that red triangle on the top saying start here. So I thought, okay, well, considering a black library book is normally about nine or ten pounds or whatever it is, these were very cheap and they're quite substantial books. They both look really cool. I think you get one story that's quite decently lengthed and then you get like a few short stories. So this one's got Hammer Howl and then um, I think that one down there, Heartwood, I've actually read before in the Sylvaneth book and that one was actually really good what i'm doing here is just checking the length of hammer how and actually play garden is the story i'm reading right now so that's quite cool that it's in there but yeah it's a decent length and then you've got loads of short stories at the end 
And then uh, I also bought the 40k one. I haven't actually read much of the Black Library stuff for 40k in a very long time. And I thought this would just be a really good place to basically get started. It was actually nice to just walk into the shop and think, where do I start reading Black Library 40k books? And they just had those there. But hmm, here we go. This is where I wanted to talk about my kind of troubled past with 40k. This is the rule book for, I believe, 6th edition. And I actually got into the hobby a long time before 6th edition, but I returned to it at this point and it really annoyed me. Basically, I had loads of the 6th edition codexes. And the thing that really annoyed me is all the ones I bought were superseded within about a year. And because I'd spent so much money on them, I was really gutted when Games Workshop updated them so quickly. This little rule book here came from the Dark Vengeance box. Box set. And again, they ended up kind of repackaging that with the seventh edition rules. So that kind of annoyed me too, because I'd only really just got it. And then the next edition came out. So it just felt like a big waste of my time and money. I then got really distracted with my master's degree. So I didn't really look at Warhammer for a while. But when I came back during eighth edition, I was really happy because they'd released this Traitor Legion supplement. And I thought they finally brought Chaos back to where I want them to be. Like there's actual depth and complexity to all of the different traitor legions there was a point before sixth edition came out it must have been fifth edition i guess where i thought they'd completely ruined everything that was good about chaos space marines i believe it must have been fourth edition where i was heavily collecting them and i collected emperor's children and the uh, chaos undivided you know abaddon's legion black legion or whatever they were called and i was such a huge fan of both abaddon and slanesh and the rules were so complex, I can't remember which book it was, but I know it was the softback. I'll try and find a picture and chuck it in the middle of the screen. But there was so much depth and complexity. I must have spent hours building those army lists from that book and enjoying every second of it. And then I think it must have been the 5th edition book came out and it completely ruined everything. I remember walking into a shop thinking, oh, hey, 40k, I, I should get back into that. And I picked up the Chaos Space Marine Codex thinking... I'm in for a treat and I looked through it and I was like, where are all of the demonic gifts? Where's the ability to customize and personalize? And it just was not the same anymore. It'd been completely ruined. And they finally got it back to the point where I was happy with the amount of customizability and depth with the different traitor legions. And within about three months of me owning this book, Games Workshop decided that it was time for eighth edition and they kind of scrapped it. So again, I was really annoyed. And from then onwards, I haven't really gone anywhere near 40k. But then, to be honest, it was these orcs that just got me back into it. At first, I was thinking we had the Gathering Storm and I was really hoping for a plastic Abaddon model. That would have got me back into the hobby there and then. But when that never materialised, maybe it still will at some point. But because it didn't, I just thought, you know what? At the moment, I'm not really interested. I've got Age of Sigmar and I'm perfectly happy with that. But then I thought, you know what? I've never really considered collecting orcs and here was my first attempt at painting one and the second one I'm about to show but this one I think ended up looking about a hundred times better he's still not finished I need to brighten up the highlights a little bit and add some more definition to the muscles and you can see a little bit of highlighting I've done on the arm but it's not finished yeah I think the first one looked absolutely terrible and I'm tempted to try and get some alcohol and scrub it off or something and repaint it but yeah I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to painting but yeah anyway that's my random little rant my little hobby vlog I wanted to keep it quite short because I have no idea how people are going to react or respond to this video but yeah if anyone's worried because I've just spent ages talking about me and 40k don't worry about it I'm not going to make my channel suddenly all about 40k I think it would be fun every so often to make a video mentioning it here and there if we go back about a month or so when all we had for week after week was Deepkin news, Deepkin stories, Deepkin reveals. I was getting to the point where I just wanted to talk about something different. And that's what made me go and look at the orcs and think it's time for a little side project. But Age of Sigma is very much the main focus for me, okay? The channel is always going to be focused around Age of Sigma. I think it would just be fun every once in a while to cover a bit of 40k as well. Maybe I'll cover a bit of the Orc news when the uh, new Codex comes out and I'm sure we'll get some new figures there too. And I've actually had a video game company approach me saying they're going to send me an early copy of a code of a 40k game. 
so it'd be fun to uh, do a one-off episode on that too. But yeah, I was thinking basically the 40k stuff I can talk about when the Age of Sigmar stuff dries up and when it goes a bit quiet out there. But all the time there's exciting stuff to talk about, I will focus on the Age of Sigmar because that's what I like more personally at the moment. I was literally planning on actually making some videos on the Orcs and then all of a sudden all of that crazy information about the second edition of Age of Sigmar dropped and I was like, okay... I'm going to put the orcs back on the shelf for a bit and I'm going to go straight back to Age of Sigmar because that just shows, I think, how excited I am and how excited I get about Age of Sigmar. But anyway, thank you so much for your support. I know some of you don't like me saying it in every video, so these vlogs, if I do more of them, are a good opportunity for me to thank you for the absolutely insane and baffling amount of support I've got recently. I can't believe how fast my channel is growing and it's all thanks to you guys, your support, your encouragement. It just means an awful lot to me. Will I ever make one of these again? I have no idea. Just uh, kind of stay tuned for that. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you are new, hit the bell icon so you know when my videos are coming out. And otherwise, I will see you really soon. I'm not quite sure what other videos I've got lined up whilst I'm in Germany, but hopefully I will have something up my sleeve. But otherwise, I will see you really soon.